Kebi State is one of the 36 states located in the northwest of Nigeria. It was created in 1991 out of Sokoto State. Its economy is agrarian and it is home to the Arugungu International Fishing Festival, a well-known festival globally. As at 2010, over 53% of its population was between the age group of 0 to 19. Islamic education was the earliest form of education in the present-day Kebi, then under the influence of the Sakoto Caliphate. Western education was later embraced over time alongside Islamic education. Over 90% of the schools, primary, secondary and tertiary, are owned and funded by the state government. As at 2009, Kebi State had 1,587 primary schools and 329 secondary schools. The adult literacy rate, that is the percentage of population aged 15 and above who could read and write a short simple statement on their everyday lives in English and Arabic, was about 49% in 2010. The threshold for low literacy globally is 50%. Why has the literacy rate in Kebi State been so low? The executive governor of Kebi State, Senator Bubakar Atiku Bagudu, who assumed office about a year ago, speaks on the problem. Education, even before we came, we know the challenge. We know that there are no facilities. The, the years of underinvestment in education had affected the system. No facilities, uh, learning facilities are weak, classrooms are not in the best of form, no chairs, no, uh, 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 no books, no computers, no adequacy of teachers and in the hostels no uh, no no beddings and no sport facilities those elements that will make school life comfortable and joyful are all absent Kwa negligence, ko oho da gammon ta yi game da abin da ya shafi gine gine a zuzuwa. In addition to these visible challenges identified, data compiled by the National Bureau of Statistics reveals a salient but nonetheless critical challenge to literacy in the states. It is the inequality in access to education experienced by the girl child over the years. This challenge is deeply rooted in culture, history and poverty. Why is a girl child education important and how does it affect literacy? 
simply put, an educated girl will grow into an educated mother who will bring up educated children. More so, based on the demographic data of Kebi State, girls and women constitute half of its total population and the overall literacy rate of the state cannot be significantly increased without strategically expanding access to education for the girl child. Given the challenges of girl child education in Kebi State, schools like Government Girls Secondary School, Suru, offer a platform for expanding access to education for the girl child by providing a conducive and enabling environment to attract an already vulnerable group in a state where in the year 2007, over 35% of the young women aged between 15 to 19 years were enrolled in primary schools and 32% in secondary schools, while 61% were already married or in a union. Sadly, the situation in this all-girls school is not attractive for the rigors of formal education. From SSTBS. Babu Sauranka Yakin the Akabukata Bamu the Panka Munaiki chicken Zahir Command and Karate and Abamu as you say. Deming Common as some main night break Bamu the Hadi. The chemicals we have here actually all some of them are already expired. And also, if you look at the door, the, some of them there are no window, there are no glasses. So when the wind storm, when there is sandstorm, be a lot of sand coming to the lab. Suna Namari M. Chapel from SS3E. Let me. I'm going to go to the lab. I'm going to go to the lab. I'm going to go to the lab. I'm going While the physical dilapidation of the school is visible, the dirt of skilled and qualified teachers is not immediately visible. Da alokatin muna primary tunkana primary za apara saka kadinga koyo English kadinga koyo abubua. Kuma da gachke abinde kama na masala ba mo da mala maywa enda za ache kama susun they can speak English. How sani kawo siki? Daka Gamali me Hausa, a classroom, the house is a carental. Obio Sadama. Magani English, a Mali mina English, a classroom, the house is a carental. Be ye ampani, the language, he can't make a single sentence. So you don't know how to read, you yourself as a teacher, you can't make a single sentence. Then how can you teach somebody to understand English? My name is Bashar Osman. Uh, only English teacher in GGCS Suru, permanent teacher, handling all the classes. <coughs> uh, in fact, we have been learned this complaint to the school authority that this language is very important. Often each and every school, it's not only this school, but 
uh, looking at the situation we are now, I am handling all the classes, right from SS3 down to JSS1. Uh, Even in an all-girls school like this one, the predominance of male teachers is a pointer to the effects of inequality in access to education. We were very clear about what we needed to do to start and um, putting those in order. So we have started the infrastructure and learning content to ensure that each school had adequate books, adequate classrooms and facilities in the classroom for learning. And then given the funding challenge, we'll, we'll, we'll keep expanding. Education, particularly of the girl child, is a strategic development investment it is no longer a matter of choice, but an imperative for development. No better person appreciates the imperative of educating the girl child than the wife of the executive governor of Kebi State, Her Excellency, Dr. Zainab Atiku Bagudu, who is passionate and committed to empowering the girl child in Kebi State through education. Kebi State, the land of equity.